See, God used me. You know that. I've realized this too. God used me being gay to be around you so you have more sympathy for them. Right. And and God not only changed me with me being gay, but he changed you too because now you don't hate them, you dislike what they're doing. Right. So, but if if God would not have taken my father away from me, locked me up for 12 years of my life, I would not be where I am today and my life would be would be a mess. And I'd be just like you, the biggest whoremonger in town. But God... Right. But see, Bishop once said, you have to go through something to see the light at the end of a tunnel. Let me ask you a question. Say you... And the say greatest... And the greatest witness is yourself. Right. God. Let me ask you a question. Say you're standing, standing at the verge of a... Say a tunnel... Say you're standing at the verge of the tunnel, the street, right before you get to the tunnel to Canada. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, you're standing right at that, your car stops right as your car just about gets to the tunnel, but you stop there. And you're seeing the inside of that tunnel from the outside. That tunnel is so long. Can you see the light or can you see Canada at the other end of that tunnel just standing on the outside? Or do you have to go through the tunnel before you can see Canada? You get it? Well, you can see from the outside. You can't end up inside the tunnel. No, what I'm saying is if you're standing outside the tunnel, you're looking in the tunnel, in that dark tunnel to Canada, not looking off to the sides where the water is, just looking straight into that tunnel. Can you see the other side of that tunnel? All the way in Canada? No. Of course you can't. No. Because you haven't gone through that tunnel yet. Once you start driving through that dark tunnel, because I know I got pictures of it the first time we went. You start going through that dark tunnel. Eventually, a piece of light will break out in that tunnel. You'll start seeing Canada. Just like like I said, you have to go through something before you can see the light at the end of your spiritual tunnel. Because you can't stand on the outside of a spiritual tunnel and expect to see the light because you can't. Because sometimes our so spiritual... Saying, Go ahead. So what you're saying is, yeah, you, know, you can't shut the book by a scope until you get to the other side. Right. And sometimes our spiritual tunnels, Steve, they last a long time. My spiritual tunnel lasted oh, yeah. me almost 16 years or more. Actually, it's lasted me more because I've been locked up for 12. So, yeah. Yeah, like 20, 20 or 22. So my tunnel has lasted me more than 12 years. That's a long tunnel to go through. But you have to you have to go through something to see the light at the end of it. It's like, would you go to the doctors if you're not feeling sick? I just know this bunch of Pastor Day is looking down from heaven and spelling upon us. Oh, I know. He, he's probably going, oh, I love this episode. This is a great. This is a great episode right here. But, Wish you was here, then. Oh no, it'd be, it'd be nice to see Dan on the show. But here's the question: Could go ahead? Would you, would you go to the doctors if you're not feeling sick? Go to the doctors if I don't feel sick, or go to, or I am sick. If you're not sick, if you're if you're fine and healthy, we go to the doctor. No. Right, because the doctor. Because everything like it's all right, and like a waste of money. That's, that's what they right. say. But see, the doctor, you have to be going through something in your physical body for the doctor to heal it. You can't just go to the doctor when you're feeling sick and expect them to heal something because there's nothing for them to, him to work on or heal it's like on what, you. I go to the doctor for a visit, which I've also gone pretty soon for a checkup. Right. <laughs> but see, if, if you got nothing wrong with you for him to heal, then you don't need to go see him. It's just like in your regular everyday spiritual life. If you don't go through right. anything in your entire life, then you have no need for God. Zero. Right. That's you, the, yeah, I can get that word to you all the time. Because you have to go through something for God to be needed in your life. If your life was, don't get me wrong, no one is, but if your life was drop dead perfect, 
You wouldn't need God. There'd be no need for Jesus to be born or die on that cross because your life is drop dead perfect. But there's no such thing. The only time that your life will be drop dead perfect and we will no longer need Jesus Christ anymore is in heaven. In fact, we will need him so less that he'll need us when we get there. Because all he's all he all we're going to do is worship Jesus in spirit and truth. So in that aspect, he will need us. We won't need him. So the people, there's people out there who got money, who are, I'll say blessed, but I'm not blessed in the word, but not by God, that they may do some things to God. They might believe, maybe not believe, but the point is they're not serving God the way they should serve. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people like that. And if people are spoiled, you know, when you got all the, you're, you're born a rich kid, you know, hey, I got, never worth the day of his life, you got, say, even a billion dollars. Oh, I know. Say, well, some people are happy to have a dollar in their pocket. You know, like, say, in America, 50% of people in the world, not in the world, in America, uh, they only got, they only got about 400 bucks in a bank account, Andrew. Oh, I know. Living on 400 bucks and look at I got the courage virus and all that. COVID 19, you know. You know, and I got in the big account. And oh, yeah. Right now, people have jobs or whatever. So, who do you get trusted? Absolutely. Let's take a brief moment and let's worship God again with this next song, Steve. It's called Lord. We worship you by the K. Daniels Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Enjoy, Lord, we worship you. Amen. Amen. Show you how much 
That was Lord We Worship You by the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. We've Amen. Got, we've got one, two, three, four more songs. So let's let's do one more. We are going to do He's Been There for you. Since we've been talking about God's Got Your Back, we're going to play a song called He's Been There by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. Enjoy. He's Been There. Amen. Amen. Sorry guys, this is Leave Me Lord, not He's Been There. 